Tomorrow is International Women's Day, a day to celebrate the achievements of women around the world. 3 News Now reporter Jessica Edson joins us live from the newsroom to tell us what one woman is doing to mark the occasion. It's estimated that a woman will spend around $300 a year on pads and tampons. And for women living in domestic violence or homeless shelters, this is often an overlooked need. A local boudoir photogra photographer hopes to fill some of that need locally here in honor of International Women's Day. Kristen Eldeman loves to show people their beauty and their power. She's a boudoir photographer, a type of photography that usually has a subject in lingerie and is often used as an expression of self-love. It's just a way to reclaim their power and um, to see their worth and to see their beauty through my lens. For International Women's Day, she wants to spread this sense of power to women who may be going through a difficult time. For a second year, she's collecting and donating menstrual products to the Women's Center for Advancement. Because this is just a human need. It's just something we, we need. It's something that's often overlooked in shelters, but is crucial for preventing infections and offering a stay with dignity. I find it incredibly important to um, empower women, and whether it's through like a boudoir shoot or donating pads and tampons. This year, Eldeman was able to collect $150 in donations, enough to buy around 70 packs of pads, tampons, and bladder control products. Reporting in Omaha, Jessica Edson, 3 News Now. And you can schedule a time to drop off your own donations at the Women's Center for Advancement by calling the number on your screen. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jessica Edson with 3 News Now.